Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This is a continuation of my Demon Hunter series for Beta Patch 13. This is part Deuce. Uh, I just picked up Rapid Fire, Rapid Shot, something like that, which you are seeing in action now. And as you can probably see, it is not very effective, unfortunately. Um, I am still using my starting uh, very crappy weapon, though, and it gets much better uh, later, but it's definitely... Not the most- I mean, it's essentially a physical damage Inferno. I mean, when it comes down to it, that's what it is. Uh, if you remember Inferno from Diablo 2, just, you know, a... a hose ability. I, I don't really know how to describe it. A short range, you know, stream of damage that, uh, sucks resources, uh, as you keep the button pressed, sort of thing. Um... And yeah, definitely not one of my favorites. Uh, and I don't believe there's a rune for it. Maybe there is. I mean, there are. Obviously, there's five of them, but I don't think there's any in the beta that you can get. Uh, so I drop it pretty, pretty quick, I think. Though, again, I, uh, I think I mentioned this in my Witch Doctor videos. I do try to showcase each ability and each rune that I pick up. Uh, so even if I don't particularly like the ability, I still try to show it off to an extent. Um... Uh, I believe I crafted a Warden Bow, which you can use at level 6. Uh, so either I'm forgetting that, or I'm not level 6 yet. I think I'm not level 6 yet. I have a feeling I'm level 5. Uh, so once I hit level 6, I'll finally be able to use that, and my kill speed will increase dramatically. Uh, it'll probably triple, uh, if not nearly quadruple, actually, at least in terms of damage. Uh, and I actually have some trouble with the... not that they really can do damage, but they move, these guys move very quickly, move through caltrips very quickly, and uh, my little bullet... Bow's ability, my rapid fire, really doesn't do very much damage. It takes quite a number of hits to take anything down. Um, so getting through this, uh, I think I also mentioned that I had some trouble... Uh, the day that I recorded all of this, uh, the apparently there were some technical issues, and I actually restarted the uh, client... restarted the servers at least twice the day that I was playing. There's basically just a very uh, large lag spike, and eventually... I don't think I ever crashed. I think I wound up just quitting, and then logging back in in like two minutes or so. Uh, once I could, and I'm... pretty positive that they were just resetting everything, restarting the servers or whatever, uh, because when I if I tried to immediately log back in, it wouldn't let me, so I don't think it was just a massive lag spike. Which is fine, it was no big deal. It's kind of annoying when you're recording things. And, uh, it wasn't a big deal in this video, so I didn't edit it out, but I think in another video it actually requires quite a bit of backtracking, so I will probably, uh, edit that out. I think that was on my Barbarian, though I don't remember for sure. Uh, the Barbarian was the last class I played. I played, um, I believe it was Witch Doctor, Demon Hunter, Monk, Wizard, Barbarian, and I'll be, uh, posting the videos in that same order. So next on the list will be Monk. I believe, uh, but I should have at least another two parts to the Demon Hunter series. I'll be making playlists of each of the classes for uh, ease of use for you guys, and then I'll probably also make one like super playlist that has all 20-some uh, parts of uh, the uh, entire series in it, if you for some reason want to sit down for a few hours and watch the entire thing. Uh, but that would be your call. Uh, and also just for organization. So you don't have to sift through the entire upload list. By the time I'm done with this, I think I'll have close to 40 videos, so... Total, including my Sword Tour stuff, so... We're getting a uh, pretty good chunk at this point. Yeah, as you can see, Rapid uh, Fire, Rapid Chat, whatever, uh, really... It's not very effective. Like I said, why am I even using this? I would have killed these guys faster just, you know, using Bola shot on them. Uh... There's just no reason to use it. That's the big problem. It's not more effective than my bola shot, or even my hungering arrow. If anything, it's less effective uh, because of how inaccurate it is, because of the spread when you fire, so... I don't know. Um, I still can't think of a particular hatred spender that I thought was really good and really worth using. Maybe there was one later on in levels. Uh, in the beta, but there's really nothing that I can recall. It seems like a lot of the abilities that would be good hatred spenders actually cost discipline. Like, sentry cost discipline, not hatred. Um, 
or animal companion. Well, that one probably would be better for discipline, but um, yeah, I I don't know, guys. Uh, I hate to, you know, I'm not really making judgments or anything. I'm just saying what kind of alarms me now. Obviously, you need to play the entire game, and I would honestly say you probably should play the game up to pretty much Inferno difficulty to really make a final call in the game, simply because games change dramatically as far as the metagame is concerned, uh, depending on the difficulty level. Uh, I think I mentioned, I, I know I mentioned Mass Effect in a previous uh, video, and Mass Effect's gameplay changes entirely. Things you can do in the easiest difficulty are literally entirely impossible in the harder difficulties. For one thing, every opponent pretty much in the entire game has either a biotic barrier, a shield barrier, or a um, armor. Uh, so, in order to actually... You can't just use biotic powers and spam them on everything, because those only work on enemies that uh, are down to their red bar, their health, barring stasis. So that it really fundamentally changes the way the game is played, and in my opinion makes the game significantly more entertaining. I mean, that's why I play games on the hardest difficulty, because I think it makes them far more fun way more strategies involved. Another example, you know, just the Dragon Age series, Dragon Age 1, Dragon Age 2, uh, the strategies that you have to employ, especially in Dragon Age 1, in my opinion, Dragon Age 1 was far superior to Dragon Age 2. They way oversimplified Dragon Age 2. They took out a lot of the strategy in Dragon Age 2. I, I think the difficulty change, uh, bumping the difficulty up, playing in Nightmare or whatever the highest difficulty was in Dragon Age 1, I mean, the amount of, the strategies you had to use and perform just were so much more interesting and entertaining. Yeah, for some reason, guys, whenever I'm playing a Blizzard game, I can't help myself uh, but talk about uh, Bioware stuff. Don't know why. But, I mean, there's really nothing going on right now. This is another example of facing a bunch of witches. Uh, this, uh, finally, an enemy that can actually hurt me to an extent. I'm basically just shooting a bullet, ducking out, trying to avoid the shot, shooting a bullet, ducking out. I just potted finally taking them down. I'm still using the starting weapon, so it's quite time-consuming. Now I see there's a bunch of health uh, orbs and the other witches are down. This was a nasty combination of not only a witch that hit pretty hard, but also cold, so she snares you. But, I mean, see how long it takes? I probably would have been better off, honestly, using Impale. I bet Impale would have killed her way faster than Rapid Fire. Um... But, whatever. Uh, so yeah. Th if there's an interesting enemy in the entirety of the beta, I would say the witches are fairly interesting. They do summon additional enemies, and if you don't uh, focus them or kill the, the zombies fast enough, they can easily create zombies faster than you can kill them, especially when there's... I mean, there's only one witch there, but when there's two or three or four or five, if there's a unique, you know, it can actually be quite a pain. I imagine they'd be pretty annoying on the higher difficulties. Though then again, I mean, this is on a witch, uh, or rather a demon hunter. Um... They're not particularly strong right now. They don't have some uh, any very powerful AoEs. Bullet Shot's AoE is actually quite small, but you can really uh, take advantage of it by, you know, bullying or whatever the verb would be, as many uh, enemies as possible to get a lot of explosions going on. As opposed to, say, if I was playing a wizard who has Arcane Orb, which is by far one of the most powerful abilities in the entirety of the beta, it, it might honestly be overpowered get four of those, three or four of those off from a, f a full arcane orb, which is quite easy to do, and, I mean, I, you can demolish anything <laughs> in the beta, honestly. I uh, finally picked up the uh, Piercing Arrow rune, Tungering Arrow, which is honestly one of the more interesting runes. It gives it a greater, like, a 55% chance to pierce, and the cool thing about it is it makes it very effective, very effective, just as Guided Arrow was when you have lots of points in pierce or bow that guarantees uh, the ability to pierce. Um, like... Did the Wind Force have a 100% chance to pierce? I don't think the Brizza did. I, I think the, the Brizza had explosive shot. It was so long ago. Um, maybe Witchwild String? No, Witchwild String had Magic Arrow. Anyway, whatever. Those are random unique bows from Diablo 2, by the way, if you're not familiar. Um, definitely one of the more interesting, uh, certainly po more powerful combinations for the Demon Hunter. Way more effective than Bullish Shot. Way more effective than rapid fire, and again, another example of why would I even use my hatred builder uh, when you have such a great chance to pierce. It makes it great against crowds. It makes it phenomenally powerful against bosses. One of the hardest hitting abilities in the game, I think, in the beta against bosses. It just demolishes them because what can happen is you pierce them once, but it's a guided arrow, so it pierces it once. It turns a, uh, the arrow will turn around, pierce them again, and then you might get a third pierce or a fourth pierce. 
And I mean, you're, you, you uh, have unlimited resources for focus builders. You can cast them as many times as possible. I'm just looking at some of the different runes uh, right now. Um, so you could have, you know, you're shooting out two, you know, hungering arrows, maybe three hungering arrows a second, something like that, probably more like two. And you're getting multiple pierces, it just demolishes uh, the bosses. Uh, the Skeleton King goes down incredibly fast against uh, a hungering arrow with the piercing rune uh, in place. Uh, and it's actually funny because in Diablo 2, you know, I, I mentioned Guided Arrow and uh, Piercing Bows, or just, they pierce passive. They actually, and it was incredibly powerful and quite fun, but they actually nerfed it. They made it, uh, it wasn't, you weren't able to pierce enemies basically infinite times uh, and hit them, you know, over and over again. In fact, they might have nerfed it to the point that you could only hit an enemy once with a pierce. I don't remember for sure. But it was definitely nerfed severely to the point that it was nowhere near as effective. So I don't know if that'll happen in this game. I can't imagine, you know, that being fairly uh, that fair and fairly fair that fair in the PvP of the game since they have dedicated are arenas now. Then again, I highly doubt they're going to make any effort whatsoever to actually balancing the arenas. I don't really see it being possible um, in this game while making maintaining uh, a fun environment in the PVE and in Diablo 2 and just in this game. The PvE is... The PvP is an afterthought, to be honest. No offense to the PvPers out there, but the glorified dueling of Diablo 2, I mean, when it comes down to it, the core of the game is killing monsters with friends and getting loot and whatever. Not not the PvP. My god, if they try to turn this into an eSport, I will lose all faith in the company. I mean, I love PvP in World of Warcraft, you know, uh, and SWOTOR, and, and, and all other games, really, but not not this. Um, so yeah, new bow, piercing arrow, way more powerful as you can see, way faster kill speed. And you know, the piercing arrow, the ruined, um, hungering arrow is, is cool, it's fun, looks good, effective, nothing wrong with it. And my god, is it effective against strong enemies, I mean, just look at this. It's utter destruction. But, I mean, why would I ever use anything but piercing arrow? I mean, I do, uh, as I unlock more abilities just for the sake of it, and because, you know, change is fun. You know, I do get bored of the same thing over and over again. Um, but it's, in terms of, you know, efficiency and optimization and whatever, I mean, why use bowler shot? Why on earth use rapid shot or impale? I mean, there's no reason to use the hatred spenders whatsoever. Uh... Hopefully some better ones will come around. Uh, I definitely, I think the next one I unlock is Strafe, and I was not impressed with Strafe at all. It was actually kind of uh, painful for me just to get a wee bit of footage to show you guys of it. Um, it was nothing, and I think they actually showed it before, but I just totally forgot. I just read the description, and I assumed it would be totally different from what it was. Now watch how incredibly fast I killed this guy. <laughs> Look at that. Dum 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 dum, gone. <laughs> He didn't even reach my caltrips, he died so quickly. It's ridiculous. Uh, you'll see how quickly Leoric dies. And I mean, we're just talking with a level 6 bow. I mean, I could get dual wield a level 9 hand crossbows, and I, I, you might even be able to unlock a level 13 range weapon. I don't remember. I, I, I don't think so, but I don't know. Um, and again, that was, you know, these, the Chancellor and that dude busting through the door are supposed to be freaking, you know, mini-bosses. What happened to that incredibly cool, uh, what was he, like, Siege Breaker or something from the Worldwide Invitational, like, I don't know, four or five years ago? I don't know if you guys remember, but it was just, when they first introduced the game at the Worldwide Invitational, I think in Paris, and yeah, Chancellor, and you're freaking gone already. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness um you know this awesome and it was a scripted fight you know he bites that off the barbarian and at the time people were like oh cool but i think a lot of people were thinking too well there's no way that that's actually going to be in the game because he basically one shot of the barbarian um so unless this is inferno i mean sync kills are really really cool but more so when they when the player does them to the enemy not when the enemy does them to the player most of the time at least not more than once or else it just gets to be cheesy and fake difficulty and frustrating yeah, whatever happened to that guy? That guy was freaking awesome. Way cooler than anything. Even without the sync kill and the insta-give of the Barbarian. Way cooler than anything in the current beta and in Act 1. I don't know if he's going to like show up later on. I mean, there was other like scripted stuff and just cool-looking bosses. I don't know. What happened to that stuff? Why is it so lame? Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Part 3, and have a good one.